to your paper 2 series 2 on May June 2019 yeah. so don't go anywhere and let's check uh, together about student book the student book yeah give me a suggestion if I have a mistake you know on this marking so uh, maybe some mistake okay let me start from number one okay number one is the diameter d of a cylinder is measured as 0 0.01 to 5 meter plus minus 1.6 uh, percent calculate the absolute uncertainty in this measurement yeah. this is 1.6 divided 100 actually yeah, in 1.6 percent yeah. and then times 0 0.01 to 5 meter so equals to 2 times 10 to the power negative 4 yeah. this is correct yeah. I use mark mark game on my laptop so I compare with the mark game yeah. then question B the cylinder in A stand on horizontal surface the pressure P exerted on the surface by the cylinder is given by P is P equals to 4 W divided P D square. Yeah. The measure uh, W yeah. of a cylinder is 0 0.38 Newton plus minus 2.8 percent. Calculate the pressure P. So actually, we only use uh, this formula. Yeah, uh, this formula and enter uh, about the number so p equals to 4 times 0 0.38 divided p times 0 0.0125 square so we get 3096.5 yeah. so in two significant figures this is something with 3100 3, yeah okay that's it So because uh, why we use two significant feature, yeah, on this side you see this is two significant feature and this is also in two significant feature. Yeah. And then question I, I determine the absolute uh, uncertainty the value of P. This is percent you see. Yeah. Uh, in w and also percent u c in d square yeah uh, okay this is correct yeah uh, 2.8 this one uh, and then two times why two times because d they have power in two yeah and percent is percent t in the d is 1.6 percent uh, so we get six percent here and then six percent uh uh, this is uncertainty of P six percent times uh, three thousand one hundred. Yeah, so we get one hundred ninety. Yeah, this is also into significant feature. So this is correct. Yeah. Okay. We go to number the next number. I don't know. Oh, number two. Yeah. About Newton second law of motion. Yeah. You still remember about Newton's second law is F equals to M A. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, this is from change is momentum. Yeah. Or rate change in momentum. Yeah. Delta P over delta T. Yeah. This is correct. Yeah. Okay, uh, we read question B. A car of mass 850 kg toes uh, travel in straight line along a horizontal road. As shown in figure 2.1. Yeah. Uh, okay, a this uh, sign about 850 kg as mass. Okay, so uh, horizontal road car they have mass 850 kilogram to bar and trailer. Yeah, on the horizontal road yeah. on figure 2.1. So the car and trailer are connected by a horizontal to bar. Yeah, the variation with time t uh, of the velocity v of the car 
for a part is to nation of figure to point to you yeah. this is velocity yeah and this is time yeah. so they have accelerates you yeah, start from zero to this one yeah maybe uh, about 12.5 uh, second yeah. they have acceleration and then constant speed from this position at 12.5 until 17.5 yeah, maybe 17.5 and they have decelerate yeah uh, after that until in time 25 second okay let me check what question are question b i it's what is it what is it calculate the distance traveled by car for time 0 to 10 okay for time 0 to 10 uh, uh, she use distance velocity time grab as the area under grab yes correct yeah. area under grab distance equals to 10 times 13 plus 9 divided 2 yeah. this is like trapezium yeah. yes correct yeah 10 is time and 13 plus 9 is uh, uh, two position they have uh, distance here yeah, uh, 13 and 9 and divided 2 so equals to 110 and then question I uh, at the time 10 second the resist resistive force acting on the car do the air resistance and friction is 510 Newton the tension to power is 440 Newton yeah, for the car time 10 seconds yeah. Where is the circle this year? I don't know. Okay, the acceleration. Yeah, uh, I'll calculate the acceleration for magnitude 0 to 10. Yeah, this is about only about gradient. Yeah, uh, this is delta V per delta T. Yeah, okay, it's correct. Delta V per delta T. Yeah, so delta V is 13. Nine, uh, 13 minus 9 yeah this is for nine, for 9 from 9 to 13 yeah so delta v means 13 uh, negative minus 9 at the time is 10 yeah uh, delta x is t so equals to 4 divided 10 equals to 0 point yeah okay this is uh correct too yeah uh, Okay, uh, zero point four, right? Then question two on the I I O. Oh, they have four question. Okay. Use the answer to calculate the result resultant force acting on the car. Yeah. So, uh, we use formula second law of Newton's law yeah. F equals to M times A F is 850 and then A 0.4 yeah we get 340 Newton correct and then so that horizontal force 1300 Newton is exerted on the car by its engine yeah. yes uh, total force Yes. Oh, we use sigma f equals to driving force minus friction, frictional force and uh, tension group. Yeah. This is total force equals to yeah, driving force minus frictional force minus tension group, and we have total force is three hundred forty. Yeah, here. So uh, calculate this number become one hundred a eh, one thousand two hundred ninety or in significant features here yeah, two significant features is one thousand three hundred. Yes, correct. Then the last one under this question determine the useful output power of engine. Yeah, power force time v. Yeah, force 1300 and then velocity at the constant is 13 yeah uh, so p equals to 
16,900 or into significant feature is 1.7 times 10 to the power 4 in 1. Yeah, it's correct also. It's good. Then question C. What is it? A short time later, the car in B is traveling at constant speed and tension in the tow bar is one, uh, 480 newton. Yeah. The tow bar is solid metal root that obey Hooke's law. Some data for the tow bar are listed below. They have young modulus metal 2.2 times 10 to the power 11 pascal, then original length of tow bar is 0 0.48 meter yeah. and then cross sectional area of tow bar is 3.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 in meter square and sign about modulus yang is E capital original length is in L and then cross sectional area is A capital question the determine the extension of the tow bar yeah okay you still remember about young modulus yeah is stress per strike yeah or f times l divided a delta l so if we find delta l equals to f times l yeah divided a times e yeah so we include this number yeah, it's about three. <coughs> okay, yeah, it's good. Three point five times ten to the power negative six. Yeah. Uh, I also uh check with the maximum. Yes, the maximum is same. Yeah, three point five times ten to the power negative six. Now, uh, two D. I think the last question on this number. Oh, I see this is about Doppler effect. Yeah. Let's check. The driver, <coughs> sorry, the driver of the car is B. In B, sees the pedestrian standing directly ahead in the distance. Yeah. The driver operates the home of the car time T15 to T17 second. Okay, the frequency of sound heard the pedestrian is 4,800 Hz. Yeah. The speed of sound on the air is 340 mm second minus 1. Yeah. Use figure 2.2 to calculate the frequency of sound emitted by home. Okay, this is Doppler effect. Yeah. Hmm. Correct FO is 480. Yeah. Uh, this is actually the sound heard by the pedestrian yeah f os observer yeah and we find f source yeah frequency of source frequency by the hook yeah sound emitted by the hook so we calculate yeah this uh why use 14 here because uh we use on the um, Sorry, on the on the grab, yeah. This is about fourteen, yeah. And why negative? Negative because uh, the car directly toward to uh, pedestrian or, or or observer, yeah. So calculate this number until we get four hundred sixty hertz yeah, into significant features. This, this is correct to you. Okay. Okay, we check. Uh, other question thank you very much so uh, still uh, watching this video and then don't forget to subscribe yeah. please subscribe thank you very much push the button the red button <coughs> we have about six number and this is uh, number three yeah uh, state the mean of center of gravity of body hmm. 
it is the point where the weight of the body is act. Yes, correct. Why this and uh, maybe see uh, mm, yes, yes, correct. B question. Yes. A uniform square sign with side of length 0.68 meter is fixed at its corner point A and B to a wall. Yeah. The sign and also supported by wire CD at some feature 3.1. Okay, we have square A, B, C, D, A, B, C. And D is the point that hang on the wall. The sign has width W and center of gravity at the point E. Yes. The sign is held in the vertical plane with side BC horizontal. The wire is at the angle 35 degree to side BC. The tension of the wire is 54 Newton. The force exerted on the sign at this is only the vertical direction. Calculate the vertical component of the tension in the wire. Yeah, yeah this one, yeah. Uh, 54 times sin 35, yeah, it's correct. That's correct also. Yeah, so this is about 31 Newton. Okay. Then 3BII. Explain why the force on the sign B does not have moment at the point A. Force on the B. Because point B has zero perpendicular distance from point A. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, point B is perpendicular distance from point A so like zero distance yeah, yeah that's correct then by taking moment about point A so that the width of the sign is 150 Newton oh okay uh we use torque yeah uh this is uh tension rope times sine 35 yeah here times distance yeah. Yeah. this is time distance correct cost time distance correct equals to w time distance yeah uh w means equal uh, a half of 0 0.68 yeah yeah because center of gravity yeah because the point uh the moment yeah uh, as the center uh, as the mo uh, uh, moment about point a yeah. So, uh, 54 sin 35 times 0 0.68, yeah, plus 54 cos 35 times 0 0.68, become 51.14, and then W times 0 0.38, so we get W is uh, 51.14 divided 0 0.38 equals to 150.412. So in two significant figure equals to 150. Yeah, correct. Question IV calculate the total vertical force exerted by the wall on the sign at point A and B. Yeah. Yeah. Weight is 150 and wire tension on the vertical is 31. Yeah. So we get 119 
into significant figure is 120. Good. C. The sign in B. The sign in B is held together by nodes and bolts. One of the node falls vertically from rest stroke distance 4.8 meter to the pavement below. The node lands on the pavement with speed 9.2 meter second minus 1. Yeah. Okay. Determine for the node falling from the sand to the pavement the ratio change in gravitational potential energy and final kinetic energy. Okay, it's good. MGH divided a half mv square or gh divided a half v square or 2 gh divided v square okay now uh, she use gravitational acceleration as 9.81 okay 1.1 yeah this is also correct yeah into significant feature Good. okay Go to the next question. Oh, number four. Sorry. Oh, yes, correct. Number four. Number four is question A. A, pro a progressive wet water wave. Yes, state what the mean by displacement and amplitude. Displacement is distance yeah, in the specific direction of particle point of wave from the equilibrium position. Distance traveled in the certain direction. Certain direction. And number maximum displacement from point of wave. This is correct. Yeah but travel in certain direction Wait. special direction distant reflect in the earth There's some trouble in the certain direction. I think not wrong yet. This eh, this person. from the equilibrium position hmm. not enough to get more okay b question to coherent with x and y meet a point uh superpose the best difference between the wave at the point is 180 degree. Wave X has amplitude of 1.2 cm and intensity I. Wave Y has amplitude of 3.6 cm. Calculate in terms of I the resultant intensity at the meeting point. Ah, oh, it's good. Yeah. Intensity uh, actually uh, proportional with amplitude square. Yeah, so I R divided I means uh, actually four times I.
because they have eyes so for eye, not only for me. Yeah. This is Okay, see monochromatic light is incident on, on a direction grating describe the diffra diffraction of the light wave as the pass through the grating. As wave pass through the sheet slits, the wave split into geometric shadow. Geometric shadow with or C. Okay. A parallel beam of light consists of two wavelengths for 540 nanometer and 630 nanometer. The light is incident normally on a diffraction grating. That order diffraction maxima are produced for each of two wavelengths. No higher order are produced for either wavelength. Determine the smallest possible line spacing D on the diffraction grating. Okay, we use N lambda D synthetics, correct? Maximus, maximum is when the sign uh, the theta is 90 degree yes correct and we have n is three order so this is three yeah correct this is nanometer times from minus nine mm -hmm. So into significant feature 1.9 times 10 to the power negative 6 is correct. Okay. I I I the beam of light is C I I is replaced by the beam blue light incident of the same diffraction grating. State and explain whether a third order diffraction maximum is produced from this blue light. Mm. Yes, this is Yeah, wavelength of blue light is shorter, yeah, 500 uh, 540 Newton, yeah. Uh is shorter than 630 Newton, yeah wavelength of uh, original length so since wavelength of blue light yeah is shorter yes diffraction is produced okay it's good yeah yes yeah, correct then question five it's about electricity yeah uh, yeah okay State the Kirchhoff state, uh, state Kirchhoff law. Yeah. Kirchhoff law is sum of EMF any loop a circuit is equal to sum of the PD in the loop. Yes, correct. Hmm. D. Uh, A battery of electromagnetic force EMF 5.6 volt and internal resistance R is connected to two external resistors as an individual 5.1. Yeah. Okay, this video. We have several questions here. Yeah. The reading in the voltmeter is 4.8 volt. Calculate one the combined resistor of two resistor connected in parallel. Yeah, correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah, close to fifteen. Correct. Yeah. The current on the battery. Yeah. Use the Ohm's law. V equals to I R. So I equals to V divided R. The voltage uh, reading voltmeter is four point eight. Yeah, and then resistor is fifteen combined between. 
to this this resistor so 8 divided 25 equals to 0 0.32 ampere yes correct and question i i so the internal resistor r r small yeah is 2.5 yeah. yes this one correct yeah. e equals to 5.6 0 0.30 15 plus r okay yes okay correct so 2.5 ohms yeah then still in this number yeah, on the next question is determine the ratio between power dissipated by internal resistor r r small and total power produced by battery power distributed on the resistor yes correct and power on battery yes so here yes correct ratio yeah. 1.1 per 7 yeah, 1 divided 7 equals to 0 0.14 yes one more number on C question the battery in B is now connected to battery MF 7.2 volt and internal resistance 3.5 ohms the new circuit in so visual 5.2 oh this is different uh, circuit here yeah. and adding one emf it's about 7.2 volt and internal resistance 3.5 ohms so we have 7.2 negative 5 Point six and negative three point five I K V Yep correct Okay Yes zero or oh, four point oh, sorry four divided fifteen about zero point two six zero Yes, uh, zero point two seven. Correct. Mm. Okay, last number, number six. Uh, it's about field light. Is that what mean the field line line of force on the electric field? It is line yeah, that represent on electric field. It so how the positive charge will behave. Oh. Yeah, it's good. An electric field has two different regions X and Y. The field string in X less than that in Y. Yeah. Describe the difference between the pattern with lines, line of forces in X and Y. Yeah. Lines close together in Y or further apart from X. Yes. See a particle P has mass 0.15 u and ch charge of negative one elementary charge where is elementary charge here e is elementary charge Parti question i particle p and alpha particle are same uniform electric field calculate the ratio okay This is particle P. Okay. Thirteen point three. So in two significant features is thirteen. Yes.
Question I, I particle P is hadron composed only two quarks. One of them is done D quark. Yeah, by considering charge, determine the position possible type flavor of the other quark. Explain your working. Mm -hmm. Don quark is negative one over three. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Negative two point two over three e is anti up quark. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, done. I think only a few numbers uh, she have mistake here. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and inform the others for for if this video is. Uh, useful for you. Thank you very much.